Hey guys, it's Sophia Lazuli and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five figure skating must-haves that I think every beginner figure skater should make sure to have when they start their journey. Number one on the list are tissues. Y'all might know that I'm a snotty girl, like I produce a lot of mucus that might be TMI, but we're a family now, so you gotta be in the know. <laughs> I already create a lot of mucus and being on the ice in the cold, you're just gonna be dripping snot constantly as you've probably seen from one of my videos. You might see a lot of skaters, like they have a little bag with them and inside the bag they have a tissue box sticking out because yeah, it's it's that deep. I'll normally keep some tissues in my pocket or have like a little, one of those little like Kleenex packets and I'll keep that in my bag and then bring it onto the rink with me. Tissues are ideal. Like you don't realize you need them until boogers are flying everywhere. And at that point it's too late. So number one, tissues. Number two on the list are pads. And I'm not talking period pads, but you might need those too if you are a period producing person. But I'm talking like knee pads, butt pads, helmet even, elbow pads, everything. Any protective gear I think is really important, especially when you're starting. But even when you're at a higher level and you're doing those crazy jumps and learning those really new scary things, I see a lot of high level skaters wearing butt pads. So don't shy away from wearing protective gear. It's really important and safety is the number one thing. When I started skating, I was wearing knee pads constantly. And these are volleyball knee pads. A lot of people be roasting me online for wearing volleyball knee pads, but they work. They're not as hard as roller skating knee pads, so they're not as like aggressive. And I feel like those ones would just break faster because they're hitting the ice. But I don't know. I've never had them before. I like that these are soft so I can still have some flexibility and mobility and move around while I'm in them. But because they're like thick too, I can, you know, get on the ice, slam my knee in the ice, and I'll still be fine. It really protects my knees. <laughs> this helped me get really comfortable falling with jumps and stuff, but also with learning lunges because my knee would sometimes hit the ground and it would burn. So definitely I'm a huge knee pad girly. I wore these for maybe like a year and a half, almost two years before I stopped wearing them. But please believe you won't see me in these again when I start really training for my axle. And I'm bringing the butt pads back for that too because I ain't trying to get hurt and that is scary to learn. Number three on the list are your own skates. It's super important to get your own skates. I have the Jackson Synergies with the Matrix Legacy Blades and I love this combo right now. Ugh, I just love my boots, they're so cute. You just don't wanna be skating in rentals for longer than you have to. Like Once you realize that skating is your jam and this is something that you're gonna be doing, definitely invest in your own skates. I always say for adult skaters, to try and get the Jackson L's or the Jackson Freestyles as their first skate. But go to your pro shop and ask for their advice. They know best and they can recommend you a boot that will work best for you based on where you are in your journey. But definitely get out of them rentals. Those are death traps, like protect your ankles, baby girl. You don't wanna keep playing Russian roulette with those rentals because honestly, self-explanatory. Protect your ankles, get your own skates. It is kind of pricey, but it's worth the investment, especially if it means you're safer. Number four on the list are blade care items. So in order to protect your blades off the ice when you're walking around at the rink, you wanna make sure you have blade guards. These are the Adea E guards. I just love these, I think they're so cute. There are different kinds of blade guards, but they all serve the same purpose. You put them on your blade, and when you're walking around off ice, so even on the padded area, it's just best to have these on because it'll protect your blades from dulling out. And if you're walking on anything not padded, other than the ice itself, you wanna make sure you have these on no matter what, because you don't wanna ruin your blades. Blades are expensive. Protect them at all costs and make sure you have some blade guards. Another important blade care item are soakers. It's like a little shower cap for your blades <laughs> and a microfiber towel. So basically anytime you get off the ice, you wanna make sure that you are wiping your blades down with a microfiber towel, make sure that they're fully dry. And then to soak up any excess moisture, you wanna put your little soaker on, your little blade shower cap. And this is how you wanna travel with them and store them back into your bag. Once you get home, you wanna take the shower cap off and then store your boots just open so they can air dry and just be in a normal dry room temp area because you just want to prevent any rusting. So having the soaker will prevent rusting, but you don't want to keep it on forever. What I do is whenever I get home, I take it off my blade and then just leave my boots out in the open air. But that's how you prevent rusting and keep taking care of your blades. Make sure you have the microfiber towel and 
the soaker, and the blade guard. Last but not least, number five are Glovies! I have so many Glovies, I literally collect them all like Pokemon style. There's like at least 10 more, but I don't have the time to show you all of them. I also don't think you would care to see a glove haul. Unless you would care to see a glove haul, let me know. <laughs> Gloves are super important, obviously, because you don't want your little fingers to freeze, but also you want to protect your hands from the ice. The ice isn't always a super smooth area. There could be little bumps in it. There could be debris on it. When you fall, sometimes you put your hands on the ice and you could possibly get cuts and like just ruin your palms from touching the ice. And I know when I do some slides and lunges, I put my hands directly on the ice. So it's always just good to have gloves on. So you're not freezing and your little handsies are protected. So those are some things that I think are really important to have when you start figure skating. Obviously there are more things than that, but those are just my top five. If you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comments below. And if you have things that you think are really important to use or to get when you start skating, Leave them in the comments below, have a discussion down there, let everyone know what you think they should get. I think it's important that we all just share our tips and tricks with each other. But yeah, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.